So I come from an era where there was absolutely no uh, wheelchair, no, no accessible transportation at all uh, when I was growing up. It wasn't an option. And you know, we used to talk about it and people would say, oh, you would never be able to use a wheelchair during rush hour. And you know, here we are and it's, it, it's happening. Um, it's not happening fast enough for, for anybody. Um, but uh, the, the AODA has set out a plan um, that Ontario will be accessible, accessible by 2025. And that uh, did include the uh, transportation, the, the, the current transportation that exists. Um, presumably any future transportation uh, systems will be fully accessible. Um, however, uh, recently um, the TTC has said that they may not be able to meet their 2025 um, deadlines um, to make all stops accessible and, and all um, bus routes accessible. The fact that the presser card cannot be used, and I, and I don't know the details of this, mm -hmm. um, that it can't be used in conjunction with the accessible entrances to subways, I, I don't know what the technology uh, issue is behind that. It doesn't seem like it should be a big deal, um, and I don't know why that wasn't considered up front. It is another example of uh, how accessibility is not considered a priority from the beginning. It doesn't surprise me. Uh, I know that there is much more thought being put into accessibility because of the AODA, since the AODA, the Accessibility for Ontarians Act was put into place. It is um, on more agendas and it is being talked about more uh, because it, 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 it's, it's legislated. Um, I, I just think that people need to have that, organizations need to have that up front. Um, uh, I lead Access Ryerson, which is Ryerson's accessibility initiative here, and we have um, underlying uh, principles and values that really underpin how we do things. And uh, two of the most important that, that come to mind that are applicable here are accessibility at the start. So make it accessible in the first place. You know, at the, the very least, don't create new barriers. The Presto. Uh, on the one hand, that could make it easier for some folks in terms of accessibility for a number of reasons. You can you can load it at home. Um, it, it does make it easier on, on, in some ways, um, but it does not if you can't use it at, at the different subway stops. Then prevent, prevent then you're faced with another barrier. Um, another of the principles is intention. So when you're not being intentionally inclusive, you may be being accidentally exclusive. And so again, if you think about these things up front, then you're less likely to uh, accidentally create new barriers. Okay.